Hey there, it's Miley with CloudApp. Today I'm going to show you how to use Pinterest on your desktop. So first in your browser bar, you're going to go to pinterest.com. Now you can either log in or sign up. So I'm going to sign up and then you can choose to either fill out your email, password and age, or you can continue with Facebook or Google. And this will basically allow you to just log into one of these and then it will connect the two accounts. I'm going to do that because it is a lot easier. It takes like five seconds. And then we're going to put an H here. Click continue. And then uh, it will um, give basically walk you through the next steps. So you're going to click next. You can either um, choose tell us another male or female. Um, you can choose what language and your location. And then from here, you can tell uh, Pinterest what you're interested in seeing on your pin board. Uh, basically, this is um, a great place to just scroll through and see a bunch of ideas for either recipes. I'm going to put that easy recipes. Uh, maybe I want to see some fashion, baby animals, of course. Um, and you can go through and see just a ton of things. Um, I'm going to put puppies. Maybe some DIY GIFs. From here, uh, you can click Done. And now it's building a feed with lots of pins. Um, and so it'll go through and tell you pins are ideas. And it will link to websites. So this is a great place if you want to get ideas for certain things, um, such as recipes. You can click on a pin that looks good to you, and then it'll take you to the website. So here it'll ask if you want Pinterest to show notifications on your desktop. This just means if you are not on Pinterest, it can still send you notifications um, on your laptop. I typically block this for most websites um, just so I'm not bombarded with a bunch of notifications. You'll still see notifications when you log on to Pinterest though, so you don't need to worry about that. Um, so again, with the walkthrough, you can click on a pin, save it for later. Um, you can also get the app to your phone. Um, so depending on how you want to use it, you can do that as well. And it's very simple to use on your phone as well. Um, you can edit what is interesting to you uh, if you want to see more ideas. You can also look at who you're following. So right now, I'm not following anyone, but you can follow uh, these different. So Tasty is a, a great one if you're wanting to see a lot of recipes from uh, that they post. Um, you can also follow friends. Um, so to do that, um, you can go back, maybe search for a friend in the top section. Um, and you can also look in specific uh, in specific categories if you're wanting to see, you know, maybe celebs. Uh, you can follow, um, you know, any of these uh, like e online, something like that. So Pinterest uh, again is a great place to just get a bunch of ideas. It's fun, um, kind of an easy thing to do. It's one of my favorite social medias because it's not so much based on uh, impressions or likes or anything like that. Um, it's, it's for your personal use. Once you um, want to pin something though, let's say I want to look for vegan recipes. You can look through maybe this, um, I don't know, maybe this stir fry looks good. We're gonna click save and then you can create a board. So I'm going to name one food. From here, um, you can add some more to that same board. So let's say I want to add the, these pretzel bars. I can click save and then I can either create a new board or I can save it to a board that I've already created. Now from here, you'll just click on your account uh, and then you can go to your boards. And then from here, you can see what you've pinned already. So this is what I do when I look for recipes in particular is I go to my food board and I look and see what looks good. It's nice to be able to see um, a bunch of different website pins all in one place without having to visit a ton of websites to begin with. Um, so that's a beginner intro to Pinterest. You can always look for something in particular. Again, um, you can look at trends that are going on um, and uh, you can also see, you know, what your friends are pinning. Um, so it's a, a great um, social media, especially if you are trying to get ideas for decorations or parties or anything like that.
If you want to learn how to make your own tutorial video, uh, look at the link in the description and get started with CloudApp.